Hey everyone, Sarah back again today with another layout for Mercy Tierra kits and I am still playing with the Bloom kits today. They are adorable. I love, love, love that bumblebee paper, but I don't end up using it. Um, I do end up using that cloud paper though because it's just too cute. Um, I try multiple different papers, but I end up going with the cloud paper. Um, I do a large chunk of that cloud paper actually on this layout, and I'm using the light pink uh, cardstock from the cardstock add-on. Um, and I have a lot of these branding strips that I've cut off other layouts or other papers for um, layouts that I've already done. And I kept a lot of these. Really, I kept them all. Um, and I'm going to use these on this layout. Um, I don't like wasting them. They're completely perfect to use anyways to do some strips or just a little bit here and there. So I like to keep those. Um, I cut that one off and honestly at this point I'm not sure why I cut that one off of that piece because I don't end up using it. I think I thought I was going to but I don't. Um, here's a little tag that I thought I was going to use. I cut from that cut apart sheet. I don't use it either. Um, but I'm going to go through and pull some other papers and see what I'm going to use. Um, I used this checkered one on my last layout. I totally love the checkers. They're too cute. Um, and I'm going to use this to back my photo. So I'm going ahead and doing that right now. Um, I'll probably, I think I pull this tag off here in a few minutes. Yeah, there it is. Um, I'm just going to rough up the edges of everything and I am back to using my finger. I think I need to get a new edge distressor because I think, you know, after having it for 10 years or so, um, I don't know how to sharpen it or make it to where it really, um, you know, distresses the edges well after being used so often. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to look into doing that because this is killing my fingernails. Um, I've actually got a divot in one of them from, from, uh, distressing the edge of some of these papers that are quite thick. Um, anyways, no big deal. It works. A lot of the time I don't reach for a tool, but I'm trying to be good and use a tool because I know it drives a lot of y'all nuts that I use my fingernail. So I apologize again, um, but I'm going to go ahead and start layering these. Um, I like the, the florals on the yellow. I'm really liking the yellow right now, um, but I don't use as much as I thought I would, but I'm really liking it. So I am going to use it. Um, I love the fact that I had all these strips left over from other things. Um, and it just makes the layout pretty quick and easy to actually come up with. Um, this layout really didn't take long. I think, um, even with me stopping and I cut some of that out, um, with some other things going on and I'm watching the show as I'm doing this, um, I think that this maybe took me 18 minutes to make. Um, I'm not quite sure, honestly, with the whole amount of time. Um, but I'm going to grab some more of the ephemera. And this is from the Pebbles ephemera pack. And I'm sorry if you can hear, like, my kids, our power just went out and came back on. We have some lovely weather coming through as I'm doing this voiceover. So, yeah, um, I grabbed some of the ephemera from the Pebbles ephemera pack, and I added those behind my photo. This is um, from the Cut Apart. This is a cute little house, and I wanted to use it. I thought I was going to use it at the bottom. I decided against it and go with the cute little frog that was in the ephemera pack. Um, I had lost the frog, and actually, I cut out me searching for it. Um, and I was also looking for it. Um, I didn't realize that there was a frog on the back of one of the ephemera packs, too. I saw that in my last video, but I had already done this layout, so hey. Um, but I found this frog, so it's okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and layer some of these things up um, and try to figure out where I really want things. I love that cute little sun up top. And I still had some more of these pieces that I had die cut apart. Um, so I went ahead and used those too. I, I used the die cuts and added these uh, floral leaves in and out. Um, and I just like the way it looked. So I'm going through some of the papers again, trying to figure out if there's more that I want to add. I really don't think I add a lot more in here. I think more so than nothing, more so than anything, sorry. I add like these little mushrooms. They're too cute. Um, I'm going to add those in there and I'll pop, when I put them down, I'll pop the, the tops up with some 3D foam. 
but I like these stickers. I love the foam stickers. Happy Heart will be the title of this layout over to the right hand side. Um, but I will use some of the like puffy stickers on here to add to the little scenes that I've created at the top and the bottom. Um, I'm trying my best not to rip these um, puffies like these alphas because I always do or the the saying there sorry the happy hearts title I keep ripping them um, apparently I need to be a lot more gentle um, as you see I keep stopping off and on because I am watching a show while I'm doing this so I'm sorry um, but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and add some 3d foam to the top of each of these mushrooms and glue to the bottom so that they pop up a little bit I'm gonna glue my little froggy down um, I'm just gonna add some glue towards the bottom um, and then just stick him back there behind the little grassy piece because that piece looks like grass and flowers. So I love that. Um, I went ahead and added some adhesive behind the yellow tag and popped the pink piece up. And then I'm just going to add that. It says Botanical Gardens all day admission. Um, but I mean, it has nothing to do with this layout, but I'm going to use it anyways. Um, I'm going to add these pieces back here and rough them up like I always do. And then I will go ahead and stick this down as well. Rotate my picture where it's supposed to be because I have had the habit of almost sticking things on upside down. Um, I'm going to pop this up on some thin 3D um, foam. Uh, this is, what is it, 3M that I'm using right now. Um, it's really quite thin. I do double it up sometimes, but I like it because it adds a little bit of dimension, but not too much. Um, I added some of the foam behind the froggy's head. I'm going to pop the house up as well, um, just the top of it. I added some glue behind the leaves that I put up there. And I'm going to add some glue to the back of the cloud because part of it is going to be hanging off. So I will trim that. Um, and I'm trying to find out, if this is like a pile of things that I pulled thinking that I might use them. I do cut a portion of that little piece off. Um, had to get a drink of my coffee there for a second. Um, I go back to this one and I cut that little piece, the floral piece off so I can use it again later. And I actually use um, the pink piece on the top down one. Oh, right there. I use it right there. <laughs> um, I add that in, add a little bit of glue um, or tape. I can't remember which one. And I'm just going to stick it in there behind the leaf. And then I'm going to pull out the ephemera um, and some more of these leaves and start tucking them in and out. Um, I use that other leaf down there, and I really think that that is the last leaf I use on this one. I still have some left over, so that's nice, but I love these little puffy stickers, so I go in and I grab a little frog and put it up top, and I use the little butterflies down here, and then I grab a little chicky and put it down, and then I add some more of the mushrooms up top, the blue and the yellow one, um, so they're kind of mimicked there. And then I cut this floral in half and add it down below and over by my photo, over to the left-hand side. Um, and then there's a little bumblebee. I cut off the top of that sun and that finishes this layout for me. Um, quick, simple, easy. I had a blast doing it though. Loving this kit. I really hope that you enjoyed this. Go check out the Facebook group and see what everybody else is creating. Join in on the sketch and everything too. We'd love to see what you do. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.